What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So it is currently 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is approximately 14 hours after the release of the AGL PyCon and Tech Janemba Dual Dokkan Fest banners on Global. And that means it's time for us to do a quick top grossing update, you know, check the rankings and see if us Global players can expect any kind of top grossing rewards or top grossing Dragon Stones within the next couple of days, okay? so. With all that said, let's jump right into it. As always, we are on the Censored Tower website, and we're filtered by April 2nd, 2021, which is today, all categories, and the iOS store. And the first region we're checking out is the United States, and uh, they are not doing so well right now, guys. All the way down at number nine in their top grossing rankings, which means that, you know, at this point in the day, this late into the day, it's not happening for the United States, so they are definitely out of the running. Moving on to the next region, which is France. Uh, doing a lot better, number two, but as always, they are behind Deezer Music and Playlist. This app is just unbeatable, it seems like. I can't remember the last time I've checked France after a banner drop and we weren't behind Deezer, so... Uh, same thing, you know, same old story, hopefully, you know, maybe within the next couple of hours we manage to get a lead and, you know, get that number one spot for a little while, at least for long enough to count for top grossing, but uh, for now, yeah, Deezer is still number one, France is at number two. Moving on to Belgium, and this one was a little bit disappointing, I was expecting the rankings here to be you know, slightly better, but Belgium is down at number 8. Obviously not anything against people in Belgium, uh, it's not your fault by any means, it's just uh, usually Belgium does a little bit better for, for hype banners, but I guess PyCon and Janemba can't be exactly considered hype banners. I think the hype here, especially for a Dual Dokkan Fest, is uh, relatively low compared to other Dual Dokkan Fests we've had in the past, right? So yeah, that's Belgium. And uh, yeah, even though this was a little bit disappointing, the real disappointment, the big disappointment was Luxembourg. And I say that with a lot of love because of course Luxembourg has done a lot for Global in the uh, recent past, man. I mean, they've hit top grossing for us so many times, more times than I can count. And they were the sole reason a lot of times that we were able to get top grossing stones. But right now, at once again, 4 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, about 14 hours after banner drop, they're at number 3. And the extra sad thing is that they were actually in the number 1 spot, man, when I checked 2 hours ago. Like when I checked at 3, or rather like 2 p.m., they were number 1, right? And now I checked 2 hours later, and they're down at number 3. I don't know how it happened, but um... Hopefully they go back. I mean, the, the, the main thing with top grossing is that, if you guys didn't know, an app has to, or at least Dokkan, has to hold that number one spot for the entire day, or at least by the end of the day, for it to count towards top grossing rewards. So if Dokkan, you know, stays at number three right now, even though they were at number one at one point, then it probably isn't going to count. At least that's what I've heard. That's what I've been told. I could be... I could be a little bit off on that, but this is just my understanding of how top grossing works. So, uh, yeah, right now we're not there. Luxembourg was, we had it, man. We had it, and then and then they dropped. So, uh, we'll see what happens here. I'll definitely keep an eye on it, but it's not looking amazing at the moment. And a few other regions that are somewhat close, but not in the number one spot. We have Hong Kong at number seven, Macau at number uh 16 uh germany is down at number 16 as well spain is number six uh italy is number 15 switzerland 15th netherlands um 15th as well so a lot of 15s here and my home country of canada is all the way down at number 24 I mean, that's not a huge surprise for Canada, honestly, but yeah, number 24 for Canada. So yeah, these were the regions I checked. Obviously, there are a few other regions within the top like 20 or so, but these are usually the ones that perform quite well. These are usually the ones I check. And, uh, you know, our only hope right now 
is either Luxembourg or France or both. I mean, if I made the video like two hours ago, I would have been like, yo, we might get two regions hitting top grossing this time because, you know, Luxembourg's at number one, France is at number two, so they have a chance too. And I still believe in France. I still think they have a chance for sure. Um, but Deezer is like, that one's tough, man. So we'll have to see. But I guess the point I'm trying to make here, man, is that in terms of top grossing for the dual Dokkan Fest between PyCon and Janemba, it's possible. I think there is a decent chance we get at least one region, whether it be Luxembourg or France. And if we do get that, then we would be expecting seven stones. Because if you check last year's dual Dokkan Fest, around the same time for Goku and Vegeta, we got uh, first place on the Apple App Store in France, and we got seven stones, a Hercule statue, as well as some orbs. Uh, tech and int for the types of the units. So this year, if we do get top grossing for at least one region, it would be seven stones, maybe a Hercule statue, and probably some orbs, um, tech, and AGL for PyCon and Janemba, right? So that's what I'm expecting, but uh, there is a chance, once again, that we don't hit top grossing. It really depends on what France and Luxembourg do. If you guys are in those countries right now, you're watching this video, maybe buy one more stone pack or something like that to... Uh, increase our chances of getting there obviously i'm kidding you know like if you spent what you wanted to spend then just leave it at that but uh in all seriousness i'm not so sure about this one man as i said i don't think pycon and janemba are like super hype for a lot of people i do think it was a skip for you know the average player and rightfully so because we have the anniversary coming in about three months so uh, it's not a huge surprise here uh, at all but I was kind of hoping Luxembourg would at least hold that placement, man. It's just sad that we fell from number three, or number one to number three so quickly. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll keep an eye out for it. If we hit number one again, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Follow me at Eat Like Goku. That's Eat Like Goku. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say, man. Thank you so much for watching. Um, usually, I have some more concrete, or, I mean, as always, I wish I had some more concrete information for you, but... Right now, it's just really hard to say. I can't really say definitively if we are getting top grossing or not. I would say there's a decent chance, but also prepare yourself for nothing because I don't want people to be disappointed in case we don't get any top grossing rewards, you know? So that's the situation. Those are the rankings at this point in time. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.